everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Jenny and this is uh, just a little trip down to Seattle. We live in just outside Vancouver, BC in British Columbia, Canada and so we're a very close drive to go down into Washington State and go visit Seattle. It takes a little under two hours depending of course on how long we are at the border. So we hadn't been to Seattle in quite a few years and our sons actually didn't remember at all being there. They were there when they were very little kids and so we thought it would be a nice weekend trip for the family. Uh, so we stayed at a hotel um, and did a lot of driving for most of the part while we were in the city. Um, we visited the Capitol Hill region and a couple other neighborhoods within the city. Uh, this was our first dinner at Poquitos, which was a really fun Mexican restaurant in the Capitol Hill area. And after going to eat on the first Friday evening we were there, we went to the Elliott Bay Bookshop. Now, I had never heard of this bookshop before. I will admit that the fa besides the fact that I am an avid reader, I don't necessarily try to find all the coolest bookshops uh, nearby but uh, this one when we, I found out we were going to Seattle and I wanted to go to a bookshop we were looking some up and this bookshop is an independent store it has been open for five decades and it is not hard to see why this was probably the coolest bookstore I've ever been in it has a wonderful selection, absolutely incredible selection of books. So warm, obviously you can see it's all wood, uh, wood floors, wood shelving, great lighting. It has a very much a library feel to it. There are a lot of tables where people were reading. It's open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, it has a little gift shop area. It has an extensive selection of books and I was actually rather overwhelmed by it because I knew there was no way I could take full advantage of all of these books um, in the you know half hour or so that we were planning to be there. So I did purchase two books there. Uh, I'd highly recommend you going if you are going to Seattle. It is worth a special trip to the neighborhood. The neighborhood itself is great anyway. It has lots of great restaurants and probably lots of shops, but because we were there later in the evening, we didn't check any of those out. But yeah, fantastic bookstore. I was in love. Uh, so on Saturday, we decided to start off our day at the Pike Place Public Market. Uh, it's the place to go uh, when you're in Seattle with you know very famous um, activities like the, the fish throwing uh, and we actually were there quite early so things weren't completely opened and we weren't planning to do a lot of shopping anyway so for us uh, being there before the kind of Saturday crowd and the big rush of people was arriving was actually preferable and we enjoyed just walking around seeing what type of shops were there it has a really fun atmosphere um, of kind of this retro thing and there were lots of shops there uh, that as you can see some of them weren't open yet while we were there so uh, if you're looking for a really fun eclectic experience of shopping while you're in Seattle then you definitely should come here and check it out and obviously there's lots of wonderful food stalls as well um, after that we went to the Olympic sculpture park this is somewhere that I had been before uh, and it's a lovely area on the ocean part uh, and there's like a, a seawalk area as well uh, in this part of Seattle uh, it's quite a lovely walk. We saw uh, different cruise ships and um, it was a great experience. I think the boys actually got tired of walking, but for Dave and I, it's a really nice walk along the water, along the beach. 
And then we saw this piece, which I knew was here from last time, which I wanted to see again. Uh, Sky Landscape One by Louise Nevelson. She's probably one of my favorite uh, sculptors. And this pretty monumental piece as well from Richard Serra. And uh, this is kind of the main the main uh, area outside of the pavilion in the sculpture park. There was also this very cool installation which was started in 2007 and is an actual tree that is uh, you know regenerating. So uh, it was really interesting to go into this um, area and see this. So this is when we encountered the um, bagpipes. So I'm just gonna let you listen to those for a while. So this bagpipe practice was happening at a park that is outside of the Seattle Asian Art Museum. And this used to be the main home of the Seattle Art Museum, but then they had a new building that was um, built for them downtown. And so this is their former building and this has become the Seattle Asian Art Museum. And I'd never been here before and it was quite lovely. Again, I'm just gonna let you absorb this room's atmosphere for a minute. Uh, they said that this museum had been recently renovated and I think their approach with their collection is very new to the idea of uh, Western museums having these artifacts that are not actually of their own cultures. And so I think what they're trying to do is to show these artifacts in a more culturally appropriate way. And uh, the reason, another reason I wanted to check out this museum was for this uh, exhibit, Renegade Ego and Paris, Japanese Prince and Toulouse Lautrec. Um, I enjoy. I don't know why, but I didn't get any footage of the Japanese Prince. I must have missed that. Um, but I did get a few of the Toulouse Lautrec uh, posters and I thought it was interesting to contrast these two periods, um, different countries, different time periods, but they had these very similar um, bohemian atmospheres to them, which is what the curators were trying to bring out uh, when they were comparing them. And there was some contemporary art as well. Um, this was quite a stunning exhibit called Belonging, Be and Longing that they had here so uh, it's a great museum it's great for about you know an hour and a half to two hours i would say um, if you're looking for an afternoon activity and you don't want to spend too long um, at a, a museum and we went to that italian restaurant for dinner on the saturday night and then we headed back to our hotel so overall the saturday was really great uh, we started off Sunday over at the Space Needle, and this is also um, an area that has, uh, you know, a hockey arena and um, the, a few different really great museums. This is the Dave Chihuly Museum of Glass, um, and I loved this first room, which is all about his inspiration. This glass on these tables was meant to represent baskets and to like. Um, evoke baskets and I really love that room I could have sat in that room for hours um, it's a stunning museum I um, I can't believe this was the first time we went there and we didn't go there previously when we were in Seattle uh, I just think that this work uh, Chihuly's work is incredible and uh, but the atmosphere of this museum is also really lovely they just did such a good job um, creating, curating the collection and creating these different experiences that really enhance the glass sculptures and show you the potential that glass has. 
Uh, so I was really, you know, enthusiastic about that and really enjoyed the color and the light and the reflection uh, that you can see throughout the museum. So our last outing uh, in Seattle was to go to a Mariners game. So I'm not a huge uh, baseball fan, but this was uh, my husband's birthday weekend and he thought it would be really fun for us to go check out a uh, Major League Baseball uh, game. And so we did. And it was a really interesting atmosphere. Um, it was uh, quite lively and uh, it was, it was really interesting just to check out this, uh, this American love, great American love. And uh, after that, we headed home. And uh, I think overall, it was a really fun weekend. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be back again soon with more. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>